Last but not least, I'm going to call to the stage the one and only King Master. Put your hands together for King Master. What up, what up, what up, what up? African Poetry Theatre. This is a special performance. This makes my one year anniversary of writing and performing. I performed my first show here last year in February. Yeah, give me a hand for that. I've, I've been able to do a lot of things in this past year. Um, I performed at the Apollo Theater just last month. I'm on my way to doing great things, you know, but I, I always like to pay homage to the people that paved the way. And um, I give a shout out to Ace and uh, Show Off Entertainment. This is a great movement. Everybody get in tune with it. All right, before I start this piece, I'm gonna give you a little background to it. Um, they say as iron sharpens iron, so does one man sharpen another. This is especially true with my homie Poet. He just performed up here tonight. Um, that's my brother from another mother. For him, I do what I wouldn't do for no other. Yeah, but um, he wrote this piece titled, If I Was a Poet. And it, it, it sparked something in me because I was like, wow, that was powerful, man. I hope you don't mind if I write something like that called If I Was a Poet. And um, he, hasn't, he hasn't heard it yet, so um, I'm just getting into it. If I was a poet, I'd use the talent that God gave me and let the world know it. I'll tell the youth the truth about modern day slavery, these prison camps, and how boot camps train armed slaves that sent to the early grave for the love of Uncle Sam and his imperialistic ways. If I was a poet, I'd say fuck the police every chance I get. Terrorizing our communities, gunning down our boys and girls, claiming to be the finest, and they the most spineless, swinest pigs in this world. If I was a poet, I'd turn thugs to revolutionaries and mercenaries to missionaries with one piece. I'd breathe life back into hip hop with no beat. I'd guide the black sheep back to prosperity and peace. I'd float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. I'd rumble, young boy, rumble. If I was a poet, I'd do it for the ladies. Yeah. I do it for the ladies. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I write a love piece so heartfelt it makes it heart melt. Extreme constant barrages of verbal massages that'll make her rain down on me, even in her dreams. If I was a poet, I'll serenade my Coretta Scott with vocal shots of lemonade I made from the bitterness of life. And instead of saying hi, I greet her with a blind lullaby that reads, There's a ribbon in the sky for our love. If I was a poet, I'd heal the world, make it a better place for you and for me and the African race. If we keep on dreaming, and this dream is what we believe in, we'll make a better world for you and for me. But I am a poet, so all in due time. When I get into this piece right here, before I get into this piece, this is also, my homie poet wrote this piece, I write for, I heard somebody else come up here and say why they write, a lot of people write pieces to express why they write, so this is why I write. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to ask this question. Mr. King, why do you write? Mr. King, why do you write? I write for all my people that dreamed of a better life. All I know is oppression, agony, and strife. Generation X is why I made revolution my wife. Against all odds I'm fighting. I choose to die writing. Despite the force riding on a pale horse, I'm making my enemies bleed without remorse. Of course, I write because I'm blood of a slave. It's a cold world. All my homies relocating to early graves. I write because they got niggas for sale on corners like auction blocks. Crack rock dealers got our teens chin them on like mascots. You want to be cool, right? Gold chains like Mr. T, pity the fool, right? It's all right. All right for you, too. You got to get it how you live, right, shorty? Handle your biz, you one night, shorty. Get it on your grind. Daddy want to eat good tonight, shorty. All right, so you can get your mind right, shorty. All right, because the beast is lurking, decreasing the love for peace. Fuck that. Can never be none till my people get some. No more beatings with nightsticks from pigs running night shifts. I'm the finest killer, leaving my enemies lifeless. Bullet holes for rookies, I'm eating veteran cookies. They killing us like a sport. A license to kill a black and brown at will. I write because so many sit still and do nothing while they slaughter our people. I write because I know the true power is in a people. I write for all our fallen soldiers that sacrificed their life. 
our civil rights. I write for all our crack babies born in this cold world. Misguided boys and girls following what they see on TV is making their souls hollow. Drugs, poverty, violence, lack of role models. So now it's me they can follow. I write to bring a better tomorrow. My words bleed on the pages you read. Digesting my literature is more potent than a hundred keys of dope in your veins. I sniff metaphors, inhale similes, blow out secondhand smoke. <sighs> Filled with hope in your brains. So many tears, memories of my childhood years is enough to drive me insane. So I write to release the pain. I write for all my political prisoners behind bars. It's time we free Mumia Abu-Jamal. For you made my words shine through like the stars. I write to give heart to the heartless, knowledge to the ignorant, a voice to all the people that's locked up and innocent. All these politicians are hypocrites. Yep. They don't want to listen. Trillions for war, but we can't feed the poor. You heard that before. I write because I can't stay silent anymore, and I refuse to be violent anymore. I just want the world to open their ears to this king in the jungle as I begin to roar. Open your eyes to this angel in disguise as I begin to soar. Follow me to a place you don't have to cry no more. Yeah, I'll sacrifice my life so my people won't have to die no more. On to the next life for me, but I'll meet you at heaven's door. With pen and pad in hand, writing the remix to Sam Cooks. It's been a long time coming, and I'll finally get to dance with my father again. Until then, I'll narrate my life through my pen. And may the memories of my life rise from the dirt when I'm no longer able to write again. That's why I'm right. All right, this piece right here is controversial. Before I start this piece, I want everybody to know that I love our black president. Don't get it twisted. This is a great moment in history. Uh -oh. But I'm not on cloud nine. So, So what we have a black president? Can one man right the wrongs of a nation that has been at the forefront of imperialism, colonialism, nationalism, sexism, racism, and every other ism you can think of in disguise of democracy? Hell no. Shit, I ain't going for it. World presented, but you can keep your box of dreams that you present as hope as long as these ships and boats keep bringing in this coke and dope that's used as a substitute for rope into my community. As long as the alphabet gang such as the FBI, CIA, ATF continues to exist, there will always be a need for a bold black man such as myself to raise his fists. Black power, and no, not the power in your White House, but damn it, we want our own house. You can keep your red, white, and blue flag constitution and everything else associated with this Babylon of USA. Give us everything you owe us for the blood of our ancestors that died and paved the way. At that point, I rejoice and be on my merry way to build my own nation. So what, we have a black president. What is he gonna do for me, make me free? <laughs> That'll be the day, I'll be your oppressor to make you free. You need to loosen the change from your mind, black man. That man is just a well-spoken buffer. Put in place to appease the world that makes so-called peace. There can never be none so all of God's children get some. Allah Akbar. you think you just create a one world government and make us your slaves? Think again. You'll need 44 more buffer niggas in that position if you want to win. God damn America, the reverend was right. I speak for the five percent of the nation that walk in the light. Those illuminated, gifted with the spiritual sense of enlightenment and hated for our courage. No, I don't wish for death, but I'll take it if I can't be free. That choice would be the absolute last thing that I have that belongs to me, and I'm not letting it go. So, we have a black president. It's enough to smile, but... That's about it. The truth of the matter still exists. We at war at home and abroad. AIDS wasn't working fast enough, so they just authorized the police to have fully automatic weapons. Ooh. I got my Smith & Wesson. How about you? What you gonna do when the pigs come for you? And you know me. Give me liberty or give me death. Even if I'm against all odds and I'm the last real nigga left. Until my last breath, I'm fighting for freedom and justice. Johnny Cochran is dead and one Oprah is not enough. So Mr. Black President, if you can hear me out there, I hope it's loud and clear. We want in. We want in. We want in.